It began with crossing one of the world's most treacherous stretches of water, the Drake Passage, the sea that connects South America with the Antarctic Peninsula. Down here, there's no land to break up the swells or shelter from the wild winds. The reward, though, was magnificent, the dramatic cliffs and mountains of Antarctica. This polar expedition is Turkey's biggest yet. 25 people from universities across the country carrying out a range of scientific studies. This year, the Turkish Antarctic Expedition planned upon two sections. One is the campsite and one is on board the ship. So the campsite has six individual projects. On board the ship, we are going to carry nine different projects. At the heart of much of the work was to better understand the effects of climate change on the continent. For geologists like Atilla Cinesh, Antarctica is the holy grail. He's studying the continent's glaciers and looking at how they can reveal clues about our climate. This moraine was deposited by this glacier when it was here. But now it's a couple tens of meters away. So it means melting of the glacier and warming. This is how it works. And if we know when this moraine was deposited here, we will know how fast the climate is warming and we can predict for the future climate how fast we will again change uh, in that direction. So this is extremely important. And this changing climate could have dire consequences for the continent's unique ecosystem. But climate change isn't the only challenge Antarctica's animals face. Ocean engineer and ecotoxicologist Burak Karachuk has got to go to extreme levels to get his samples. Even here, in the sand and silt of this remote continent, there are traces of man-made waste. The waters that Burak is diving in are below zero degrees Celsius, but the samples that he's collecting will be vital for scientists to understand just how much humans have polluted the waters of Antarctica. And that pollution can have a knock-on effect for the animals here. And what type of effect do these pollutants, these man-made pollutants, have on uh, the delicate wildlife here in Antarctica? In here, it will accumulate inside the penguins or seals or any other animals, and they will reduce the population. They will stop their reproduction. They, their chicks will die because of the pollution, because it's... It will make like cancerogenic effect, mutagenic effects. It will destroy their lives actually, the delicate ecosystem. Turkey has pledged to play a more active role in Antarctica and climate science, one day hoping to establish a permanent research base on the continent. With its continued work here, it hopes it can play its part in protecting this magnificent environment. Ali Janayanash, TRT World, Antarctica.